In this video, we will learn to divide rational expressions such as these. Well, first factor everything. That's going to be very helpful. So if I factor this, okay, I'm looking at that, and I'm thinking x squared is x times x, 12. That's either going to be 3 times 4, or it's going to be 2 times 6, or it's going to be 1 times 12. But keeping an eye on the middle, I'm liking the 2 times 4 option. All right, because I know inner plus outer has to equal middle. And inner, I'll have 2x. Outer, I will have 4x. Um, I'm sorry, I messed that up, didn't I? I said I want 2 and 6, not 2 and 4. So I'd have inner of 2x and outer of 6x. I can get 4x if I leave this positive and if I take this as negative. Negative 2x, you say? There you go. Positive 6x, you say? And then negative 2 times positive 6 will give me negative 12. So everything works out nicely. So there I have factored that guy. Um, what about this guy? Well, x squared, again, x times x, 18. Um, 18 is either going to be 3 times 6, or 2 times 9, or 1 times 18. Keeping an eye on the 9x middle, I'm liking the 3 and the 6. All right, if I do 3 and 6, inner, 3x, outer 6x, that'll make 9. So I could just let both of these be positive. Everybody's happy. Okay, now be careful. When you divide, it's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. Alright, so I'm about to do the reciprocal right now. Um, so see this x squared minus 4? That's going to end up on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and factor it, though. Difference of two squares. That's x plus 2 times x minus 2. But notice I went ahead and put it on the bottom. This one has a GCF. There's a common x. So I'm going to pull that out. And that will leave x plus 3 up there. OK? So now I'm looking to see what in the world is going to cancel out. Well, the x plus 6s, they're going to cancel out. Anything else? Maybe I'll use different colors. All right, this x minus 2 and this x minus 2 over there, they're going to cancel out. Anything else? Well, um, how about purple? This x plus 3 and this x plus 3. Anything that's high and low are going to cancel out. So what's left? Um, the only thing that's left is the x and the x plus 2. So that's going to really be the form of my answer. Okay, but we need to keep in mind everything that is restricted. Anything that was ever in the denominator um, can't be 0. So, for, for example, the x plus 3 tells us that x cannot equal negative 3, all right, because that would make 0. The x plus 6 in the denominator, x cannot equal negative 6. OK. Now, remember how this switched? That means none of these things can be equal to 0. All right, these can't be equal to 0 because they're in the denominator now. Um, but these things can't be 0 because they used to be in the denominator. So x cannot equal 0 because of that guy. And x, I already said x cannot equal negative 3. Um, what about the 2's? All right. x cannot equal positive or negative 2 because of these two. All right, that's a lot of restrictions. but um. There you go. That's how you divide.